Welcome to this week's Henry J video. I have absolutely no idea what we're gonna get done because my summit order isn't here yet. So all the things I thought I was doing, we're not doing. Turns out, uh, they don't always show up on time. So I will fill you in as I find out what we're doing. Okay, we're doing some test fitting and mapping out some of the fuel system. It's a good thing I put a Y block there because this stealth style sniper has two inlets so we'll run two dash six hoses out and around that won't be too bad that'll work out pretty nice i think we got plenty of room here as far as coming up with some linkage one thing to note we have a c6 transmission so this is the ford lever however if i recall this transmission is manual valve body so we won't care about the kicked out because it won't work. The other thing we've got to figure out is if we're going to be able to get a temp sensor in there and clear the dizzy. I hope so because I'd like to have one. Oh, and then you're seeing if that thing will work, the one off the S10. Ooh, that's, a, that's pretty close. Let's see. Oh, God, there's gobs and gobs of room. Yeah. Should clear the hood even, I think. So yeah, so we're just kind of fitting things, finding out what else we need to buy because there's no shortage of stuff to buy. Okay, we're looking at how tight that's going to be back there. So we've got that on. And then remember it's forward, so it's slanted a little bit. And it's it touches, and I don't even know if you can see it, but it's not under duress. So that's going to work out just fine, which means we don't have to drill new holes for temp senders because that's the one for the Dakota. That one back there is the one for the sniper, and I really want them both in the crossover temp because that's this area here where we're coming across is the area that I'm going to try to keep about 180, 185 degrees whenever possible. So that's going to work out. Yeah, it clears. Oh, might as well be a mile. I bet I could almost get a piece of paper in there. So yeah, I'm glad things are finally clearing. Okay, one of the things we needed to figure out is roughly how we were doing our throttle cable. And now that we actually have throttle levers on there, we have a good idea. I found a pre-bent hose that's two feet long that pretty much replicated exactly what we want to do. So we got to get that. I thought we had a fitting for that, but we don't. So we'll order that. And then this will feed one bowl. This one will feed the other. You know, 290s coming off of there. A 45 here. Hose goes around. A 135 here. Hose goes around. Doesn't get easier. And uh, plenty of clearance. Because this was originally actually going to have a... I don't remember if it was a 950 HP or what it was. It was a big hauling and we had to sell it. Because we decided fuel injection. And uh, yeah. This is going to be pretty slick. So... We know that this is going to clear. Obviously, that was going to clear. Um, we've got the oil pressure sensor for the Dakota. Just kind of working all this out. We need to order our uh, throttle bracket and uh, return spring set up. Get the throttle cable on order. Um, a couple fittings. I thought we had more, but turns out we must never use the straight dash six fittings because, boy, we're starting to have a bunch of them. So we're digging through, looking for things that we got to order. We still have not figured out what we're going to do about speed. In fact, while we were in the house there a minute ago, I went and looked just to make sure. And yeah, it's a GM style sender in the Dakota kit like it always is. But I was just hopeful that it was actually going to be a right angle sensor that goes into a C6 transmission. And I've been looking around and... It's not a real ideal solution for that, so I'm going to have to keep working on that. There's there's something out there that's going to fit where we've got to fit it. All right. Probably wrapping up for the evening. We'll see. But I don't know that we're going to do anything else that's film worthy. So just kind of bulking it out so it's not a two-minute video. We've looked at it, and we're going to want a two-foot 
low car cable to go with the pedal here. That should work out pretty slick. And, you know, they're not that hard to do. And we'll get a nice... Because this looks just like a 4150 carburetor, you know, for all mechanical purposes, not going to be real difficult to get a uh, throttle bracket and a nice return spring set. And we got tons and tons of room. It's not like there's anything here that's in the way. Don't have to deal with the distributor in its normal spot because it's a Ford, so it's up front. You know, right in the way where it can get uh, easily damaged. But yeah, that's probably going to be the end of this week's Henry J video. Okay, here is the area I'm worried about on this transmission. You see that's where the speedo interface goes. And I get a little less than two inches plus all the pulse generators I'm seeing are pretty big. So we need to come out in under two inches, kick back. And then I can screw our pulse generator on there. The other thing we're really strongly thinking about is making a plate I can bolt on here and plug the hole so it doesn't leak fluid and buying the GPS adapter for the Dakota that could be an option so anyway that's gonna probably wrap up the Henry J video this has been another ShopRex approved video